dear people, I'm back in the garage again and I'm going to record just a little bit of doing this um, doing this radiator cowling. Um, I've actually done quite a bit of it now and I thought, do you know what, I've got a little bit to to put down this edge. So I thought, why not get the, uh, get the camera out and, uh, and try and record me actually doing something rather than just yabba yabba yabba. So, um, so yeah, so I'm going to just... Um, I'm going to finish this off. Got a little bit of metal cut, so and tape stuck all over me. <laughs> um, yeah, I just cut these at work on the guillotine, so it makes a nice, neat edge, straight edge. Just cut them at work and then bring them home. And and I generally use these for sort of like putting edges on on bits and pieces that I'm doing. So um, so yeah, so let's have a little look at that, and uh, we'll try and get something. Um, try and get something done and, and sort of, you know, finish so that I can then go to work and just tack it up, really. I've already done this, this side panel and this top piece, and now I'm just going to put this edging piece down there just to give it a bit more shape so that we're not kind of really sort of squarish. Um, so that is going to go in there somehow. So I've already marked that across there. I don't think you can see. But we've got a little um got a little mark there. No, you can't see but there is a mark there. So I'm just gonna nib across there with a pair of cutters. So this is just um yeah just make it up as I go along really, like pretty much everything on the bike. Um, I kind of have a vision, but then it's getting the, vi <laughs> the vision onto the, uh, actually onto the, onto the bike or get it, getting it made out of, you know, metal or whatever material you're gonna use. But yeah, and again, I've just got very, very basic tools, some grips, some pliers, a hammer, a dolly, you know, not a dolly dolly, a metal dolly. <laughs> but yeah, so it's all, it's all reasonably straightforward. And uh, like I say, I'm not actually a, uh, metal worker as such. So there'll be lots of you guys out there shouting at me saying, yeah, don't do it like that. But this is the only way I do know how to do it. So I'm gonna stick with that. <laughs> yeah, so we'll get that piece in there. And that makes a nice, um, gives it a nice finish. It's not, it's not quite 90 degrees, you see. We've got a bit less, maybe, maybe, yeah, more for, more 45 sort of degree angle there. I just thought it's, it's a bit nicer than, than edging right round back onto it as a, as a 90. So it looks like maybe a little bit, a little bit of thought's gone into it, just to make it that little bit more kind of factory maybe right so we've got that there and we need to start a bend there so we'll put a little mark there and then we'll uh, we'll have a look at doing that I think I'm gonna have to radius this a little bit more that's a little bit sharp I didn't quite didn't quite finish that, so I'll ray just that edge off, and uh, and then we'll go from there. Right, I'm just going to put a little return on this edge. Not not much of a return, just just like that really. Just a gentle curve on it, and we'll do that. So I've got my dividers, and that is set about three or four mil. So we'll just 
whiz that around there. Which gives us a rough idea. I don't think you guys can see that. But I've got a nice line that I can follow. There we go, look. We've got a little edge, little return, slight return on that now. Hopefully you can see it. There you go, we've come over to the, uh, to the occasional table. <laughs> I'm trying to get a little bit of a, a better view for you because I'm struggling with, um, with the light, so. But there we go, we can see, you can see that, that little return there now. I know it's not perfect, it's far from it, it looks like it's been done with um, with some uh, crocodile teeth, <laughs> but it's fine. It's good enough for what I need. Um, that will all sand sand out with the uh, with the grinder, with the sander. Um, but that's actually all I need, really. Um, remember, these are going to get these are going to get body worked, just like everything else. High build primer. Um, yeah, so it's going to be fine. It's it's perfect for what I want. I'm, yeah, more than happy with that. Right, then let's get this back on, so that I can re re um, reshape those little bits. Um, one of the main reasons, actually, for for this was to cover this bit of framework. Um, it's not the nicest bit of uh, framework, but um, it's obviously needed. <laughs> so we can't we can't get rid of it. So uh, we'll just. We'll just get a bit cheeky and hide it a little bit. Um, yeah, and it just it's just something else to Yeah, it's just something else to look at and go, well, we made that, didn't we? And uh You know, it's all it's all part of the fun. Okay, so I've got this taped on again this top piece so let's just um, where's me let's just cut that slightly a slightly better angle what I should be doing really is doing this the proper way and measuring things and and whatnot and doing it once <laughs> but that that'd be too easy wouldn't it Okay, so that's better. And then we'll just start the bend at the bottom. I'm not sure how this is gonna go because it's at that funny angle, so we'll just uh, we'll just put a little bend. It's quite a sharp bend. Again, I'm sure there's a there's a way of working all this out, but I can't do it because <laughs> my head doesn't work that way. <laughs> we can cut it off there. Yeah, there's there's got to be easier ways of working this out, but yeah, my my head doesn't uh, it doesn't work that e that well. It's um I've not been taught how to do this, so it is complete just completely trial and error and guesswork. But it also proves what you can do with um with a bit of patience and and again some reasonably um reasonably simple sort of tool, tooling. So right, that's okay there. So from there, so from that corner, from that corner we want to cut it across like this. So when we look down the front, that is, that's spot on, that was a good guess. Makes a change, cool. Right, so we've got that piece. Then we just need to do this bottom edge. Okay, so there we go. We have now got um, our radiator cowl. 
cover, whatever it is, whatever you want to call it. Um, there we go. So at the minute we are one, two, three, four, four separate pieces. This is the last piece. So this is going to go um, that is going to go in here like this. But I'm going to do this little piece at work because I'm going to put it in the, sh uh, the shrinkers um, because that's running uh, straight. What I need is I need to make it curved slightly. So I'll just shrink that side and that'll pull that round and curve it so that it matches this this curve. Can you s there we go. Okay. So I need to curve this piece of metal to uh, to go into that gap. So I'll do that at work. Um, I'm going to nip there now and just um, just tack it together. Hopefully, <laughs> it's not going to all move out of shape. <laughs> Um, in an ideal world, I could do doing it on the bike, but um, there is no welder here. I've got a TIG welder, but I've got no gas, and I need to learn how to use it. <laughs> so, uh, so sadly, it's uh, pop to work, tack it up, bring it back, and we'll try it on the bike. Okay, so I've whizzed to work. That was whizzed <laughs> to work. And I'm just going to whack a few tacks on this just to try and hold it together and uh, and yeah we'll see how we uh, we'll see how we go so I'll just stick it on time lapse because there'll be a lot of messing around but we'll uh, we'll get a few tacks on it Right, there we go, I'm back, I'm back in the garage now. Um, the battery on the phone went, died, and uh, I got the, some footage of welding it up, but I didn't get any of uh, sanding it back, but it's only sort of sanding it back with the, you know, the linisher, whatever. Um, but I did go completely over the top, and I did end up welding a lot more than just the odd tack, which is what I should have done. But hopefully, hopefully it will be okay. Um, obviously the inside looks like poopy. It's a complete mess of spots and splats. Uh, this is really thin metal actually. This is like um, a 0.8 mil, I think. So um, it, it does blow through really easily. Um, but we're not worried about the inside of that. This is what we're, uh, this is what we're after. But there you go. So we are five, five pieces into this, but literally this was just like yesterday, it was just flat, a flat sheet of metal um, with some curves bent in it with a pair of mole grips. And we've now literally ended up with this. Um, you know, we've got a little bit of shape to it now as well. If you can see, there we go, look, got a little bit of shape to it. So yeah, so I'm well pleased with that. That's mega. Rightio, let's get it back on. I did, um, I did turn some little spacers up for it, which, which I don't think you can see because of the poor lighting again. I'll have to apologise for, for the light. I, I, I haven't really got the gear to be honest to be to be um, doing this. I'm, I'm just struggling with an iPhone eight. At the minute, at the minute, so um, you'll have to forgive my poor lighting skills and and whatnot. <laughs> right, there's one. And there's the other. But you've, you know, I mean, just just be mindful also that so many bits can be created with, you know, just very very minimal 
the tools, just just a little bit of a little bit of patience and a, and a little bit of knowledge that you could learn anywhere on the internet. Um, and you know, and look look what we've look what we've done with a you know we've we've made this cowling out of a flat sheet of metal. Yeah, it's got five pieces in, but look at look at how much shape we've now got in this in this piece. I mean, it's mega. I'm well pleased with that. Let's have a little look. Okay, there we go. So look at that. I think that looks mega. I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, like I say, it's still got to be body worked and primed and whatnot. So we've, um, you know, we've still got some fettling to do on it. It is by no means perfect. I can, I can assure you of that. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's a bit wibbly wobbly, but. I mean, a, a good few coats of high build would probably sort that out. But yeah, so we've got a nice, nice sort of radius here now. This is at about 45 degrees rather than it going to a sharp 90. Um, yeah, we've got a bit of shape this way in it. And, and generally, overall, that looks pucker. I really, really like that. Let's see if we can get a little... Let's see if I can get under the bench and a little, um, there we go, look. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice, that is. And it follows the, um, it follows the angle of the tank. So the line of the tank follows through through there, which is more <laughs> more fluke than anything, but I'm going to take that as a as a win. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, well pleased with that. All I've got to do now is the other side. Ugh. <laughs> right there we go. I've actually recorded doing something, doing some work. Um, yeah, really pleased with that. Um, like I say, all I've got to do now is uh, do the other side, which is which is always great fun. <laughs> it always seems like a good idea at, at the start. You think, yeah, I'll do that, and then you realise that you've got to do the other side. But um, yeah, it's just part of it, isn't it? Um, but yeah, yeah, really pleased with that. Anyway, I'm not going to gabble on. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope that was uh, slightly more enjoyable than. Um, um, just sort of an update um sorry i didn't get all of the the footage i'm just, um it's it's quite hard to to set the camera and then record and then stop it and move it to a different i'm just not used to doing that to be honest um i kind of get my head down and get into it and and before i know it it's kind of done and uh, and whatnot but um but yeah hopefully hopefully you've enjoyed a little bit of a uh, little bit of fabrication and um yeah Hopefully in the next one there'll be a bit more.